We were here with us last year, and our new guys, we're playing odd circle. So what that means is we have one guy directly at X, all right, so it'll be one person directly behind, one guy top center, all right? These two guys are up by the box, okay? These guys are out by the alley. All right, so when we start, we really want to be spread out as wide as we possibly can, okay? We're obviously going to get tighter as we start to run, but if we start at the hash and the hash, right, we have no room to actually work, okay? So everything that we do is going to be three man into two man, all right? So those of us who have been here for the past six weeks, right, we've talked about all that two man, we should be able to put that into play uh, going forward. So it's always going, well, there's two things we can do. We can go north or we can go south. So obviously, north is going to be our mids, all right, and south is gonna be the attack. We can start wherever we want, all right? So if we feel, if it's Pat, Jardine, and Matt, right, down low, and we feel that they have a, a good handle on the defense over there, then we're just gonna start south, right? We have a matchup, let's work on it. So the way that it works, okay, it starts with a pass from the outside guys, all right, into what we call the cylinder, okay? So basically that means outside in. The cylinder, right, just because of what we have, you can assume it's like the hash marks. It's really tighter than that. It's pipes to pipes all the way up, but it's the, uh, from the outside to the inside. So if we say north, what we're gonna do, right, ball starts here. We're gonna start with a pass into the inside, all right? The first thing we do is a give and go, okay? Because what happens to this defensor, defenseman when we throw the ball into the middle? Where does his eyes go? To the ball, okay? So you guys weren't around, but back in the day, they used to have strings. My first helmet had strings, right? So your idea is when he turns to the ball, cut to the strings, right? So we're gonna go right into here. This serves as two things for us. One, it's a give and go, right? If you're a defenseman, and we know, right, in winter and spring and summer ball, or winter and fall and summer ball, right, the defensemen tend to um, be a little bit more kind of oriented on themselves, right? So there's not as good team defense. So if he turns in, you're back up, right? I'm right here. Okay, you're looking, we need to make sure we're putting the ball on their stick, all right? And we should have kind of an empty space in here. If we don't, that's fine, all right? Don't worry about it. So now this guy, who threw it into the middle, okay, is now, right, down in here. We want this guy to be about right where that red arc is, okay? He's about five yards up, because what is that gonna create? for us over here. What do we have all up here now? Space. Space, okay. This guy's job now, all right, depending upon what he has on him, and we'll go over that in a minute, is to kind of cut through and start that two man, all right? So if we have a pole, do we ever want to bring a pole to the ball? No. No, so what we do is we call that a shallow, all right? So a shallow is if you have a pole, all you're doing is we want to give this guy right here what's called a two-way go, all right? So we shallow, okay, and now you see, right, this guy, the guy with the ball, has all three areas, or all two sides that he can go, and we're, all three of us are in a line, all right? As we do this, we want what we call heels on G, uh, GLE for attack, all right, to give ultimate space. Now, the guy with the ball, it's your go, right? It's your turn, you get to go. So he dodges whatever happens, he goes this way, okay? We vent up, okay? And then we vent back. Reason being, we wanna have an outlet everywhere we go. If he gets doubled this way, okay, the defenseman slides upfield, okay, he needs to be able to roll back, throw the ball here, right? Now we have a two on one that way, okay? Same thing, right? We have an outlet to his face, so he's going here, this defenseman stays, right? This defenseman now shows, okay, perfect. We have an outlet there too. So we need to make sure we have an outlet to behind and to forward. So it's that guy's job in the top middle who's running two man to be the outlet up top, okay? It's the attackman's job to be the outlet to his face. Attack, I'm gonna tell you this, I'm sure this is gonna be the one thing that I repeat to you guys over and over and over again. You cannot get too high, okay? If you stand, right, just look out at the field. If you stand at the 15, even if you have a de bad defenseman on you, it's gonna, ha it's gonna scare that midfielder.
because there's someone there. You have to be at GLE or below to drag that defenseman down. Now make him make a decision. So if you're standing on GLE, he has to say, okay, well, Pat, you scored two goals today. I can't leave you, right? And now we have a midi running one-on-one -on -one downhill, right? Or I got to go, okay? Then you can follow. Then you can step into that space. But what happens is we preemptively step up and when we step up, we bring the defenseman. Now two can play one, or one can play two, okay? So, right, we're here. This is north. He goes this way, he vents up, he vents out, right? We don't get anything we like. That is fine, all right? The reason we run this offense in this scenario is because it is cyclical, okay? So now what happens is we don't get what we like, all right? Ball goes down here, all right? So we have the ball here. We fill into our spots as midfielders, right? Get back to where we need to go. Get so out we have of the box. one. What? Yep. We have Get one. Out of the box, right? We have one here. The vent guy vented up. The Dodgers out of the box here. All right. Now we give the attack plenty of room. Okay. So now the ball goes down here. All right. He throws it into the middle. Okay. What happens when we throw into the cylinder? What do we do? Back up. What? Back up. Say it louder. Back up. Okay. So what's our first look? Back, back cut, give and go. All right, back so give and go. Pat throws. Okay, his guy shows and looks this way. Pat cuts to the strings. Oh, wow, he's wide open, right? The easiest goes, we'll score. Okay, we do that once or twice. They'll stop doing it. They'll stay on you. Now, all right, this guy who threw it into the middle, opposite to what we said to the middies, you got to be high. We want you on the 20-yard line, okay? Reason being, we need to give, right, this guy's coming in for two, man. We need to give these guys as much space as we possibly can we want to create all right we know when we get into this scenario they're gonna slide right the defenseman right your attack room we know that you want to score they're gonna go we want to make that as long as possible so you should have heels on the 20 okay once your guy goes okay and this is what we struggle with the most and everybody who runs this offense struggles with the most you can't preemptively go and what i mean by that is come here real quick gardner if Pat is pushing this way, okay, come here, and this is heels on the left, Pat's turning, right, <coughs> as Pat runs towards me, let's say the goal's right here, Pat's coming this way, everybody just wants to immediately go.